this whole idea that technology can displace workers and potentially create unemployment is, is a concern that goes back at a minimum 200 years. It goes all the way back to uh, the Luddite revolt in, in England in the early um, 1800s. And since then, it's been raised again and again. It's come up you know, many times. And each time, it has turned out to be a false alarm. So there is a long record of this alarm being raised. And then ultimately, it always turns out to be false. So I think that there is a lot in common between this and the story of the little boy who cries wolf. Uh, in that story, you know, people eventually become very skeptical because the, the false alarm keeps getting raised. They become very complacent. But in the end, of course, the wolf does show up, and, and then it doesn't go well for the people who are skeptical. So I think that this, this issue could end up in more or less the same way, and that's, that's the primary concern that I have here. Uh, clearly, this is an issue that kind of sits at the intersection of technology and economics. And economists never like to hear that this time is different. They're always very, very skeptical of that. Uh, whereas with technology, this time is always different. Uh, that's the whole point of innovation is that you're always creating something new. You're always going to a place that uh, no one has gone before. And so perhaps one of the most basic questions we can ask is, is this really about economics or is it about technology? And I think that ultimately it's going to be about technology. I don't think that there is any fundamental law of the universe or even of ec economics that says people have to be in the loop. People are essential to the production process. I think that there's quite a little bit of evidence for that already. If you look at the new types of products and services that people are demanding that they want to spend their time with, uh, things like spending hours on Facebook or Twitter or playing video games, or I think in the near future they'll be spending who knows how long in virtual reality environments. Those are all services that are delivered essentially without people being in the loop. I mean, uh, there, there is a role for people in their initial creation and in the creation of the content, but once the content is being created, then delivering that service um, there simply isn't any labor content to it. It's all you know, big, big computing facilities that are essentially doing the work. And I think that that really offers a preview of you know, the way that things are going. So I don't think there's any rule that says people always have to be essential to the production process. I think it's entirely possible that at some point um, technology can reach a point where you know, there really isn't much ro uh, role for human labor anymore.